So the problems that we typically see with vaping is going to be gum inflammation, which is due to the increased bacteria in the mouth. We can see some bone loss also associated with that. As the gum inflammation kind of progresses into more of a disease, you can get bone loss from that, as well as more decay. And that's because of the dry mouth that it creates while vaping. So the consequences of having chronic gum inflammation is that it, it will end up turning into more progressive periodontal disease, which is a disease of your gums, your teeth, and that can lead to tooth loss. It can lead to bone resorption. The differences between that I have seen as a hygienist between vaping and smoking cigarettes, it's all kind of the same. Essentially, you're gonna get a dry mouth, you're gonna have increased decay, you're gonna have an increased susceptibility to periodontal disease, which is gum disease. The nicotine pouches, or if someone likes to chew tobacco, I tell them to kind of move it around in their mouth because once they start keeping it in one spot, it basically creates scar tissue in the mouth and that's what turns into cancer. And so if you can move it around in your mouth, it's better. However, once again, we still don't want you guys using those tobacco products at all just for your overall health. There is a green stain that's usually associated with medicinal marijuana use or everyday marijuana use. And we're starting to see that more frequently just because it is legal here in Nevada. So there's a green stain associated with marijuana. It also smells. So if I'm removing any tartar or bacteria from someone mouth that does the marijuana smoking it also smells like it as well so I feel like they can never really get away from that smell once they start using marijuana